Hello guys, this is that center for bringing your biggest noob, and I'm here with another PA video. This is my final video on the fabric timing, the fabric timings mini series, and this is basically how I time my fabers. I don't particularly use any of the methods individually. I do it based on my situation. This is just me. I don't know if anybody else does this. They probably do. Probably some other people. But this is what works for me. So when I get fabrics, I do it based on my unit count. So I have not scouted any enemy units, right? So I'm just going to get fabrics. This is a very <laughs> exaggerated example of my fabric timings, okay? So do this, right? And I get air second to scout. I have to scout in order to be aware of enemy unit movements and stuff like that. I have to know if they're gonna snipe my fabrics or else I'm gonna be fabric spamming and they're gonna send boom bots and kill all my stuff and then I'll say GG. That's a bad thing, so we're getting there second for that reason. Some hummingbirds and stuff to defend as well. Maybe a pelican. Okay, so we're gonna scout him. Yeah, very simple. We just gotta queue this up. No defenses really for now. Okay, so I see troop movements already. So that means I stopped getting fabrics, right? I don't want to get fabs if there's enemy troops heading towards me. Hopefully that makes sense, because I'm sure troops will kill my fabs, right? So five fabrics start a little more than the meta. So their dog's coming this way. I can probably deal with this with little to no issues. Uh, also with storage, your fabrics will have more travel time time between projects than your factories. So when my fabrics are building. I know my energy and metal is going to tank more. The factories are a more steady deduction of your net income. Right? So, all that means is I'm trying to keep the storage in general around here. Around the middle for both sides. If it starts going down instantly, then either you've turn down a bunch of factories, which I doubt, or you've, um, or your fabrics are building, okay? A lot of units coming here. Got to play a little bit defensive. Okay, so now I'm starting to have a lot more units in the AI. So this means I can get more fabs. And I especially have more air units than the AI. My 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 uh, income's not great, so we're gonna do this. Um, get some bot fabs, maybe some air fabs, right? And we'll do this until our unit count is equalizing. And now, when you're when you're fab spamming, you have to 
always know how much units you have compared to your opponent or else you lose. Because then they'll have a lot of units and you'll have a lot of fabs. And that's never... That's never going to end well for you. Maybe you can rush up a turret, but when there's like five infernos coming at you, the turret's not going to do much. So let's try to distract the AI a bit. Oh, that was nice micro. Oh, oh fuck. See, there goes my pro playing. Um, right, so I got some air fabs. I can get T2. Might as well, right? Okay, air fabs will go get metal. too many attack units, but um, we've got a lot of build power. It's just the balance. Okay. I'm expanding all over the place. I've got heaps of metal income. Oh, there goes an air fab, but that's why I'm spamming them, right? So the AI's got a little more air than me, so I'm gonna get hummingbirds. Uh... Expansion is looking okay. This is not my typical ranked game build order. Just <laughs> showing a point. Power's crashing, but we're making some, so we don't need to queue any more up. some locusts out and kill the AI with that. It's not going to be too much of an issue. And boom, we got tier 2 up. Come on, locusts. Okay, there we go. Let's scout and see where we can send these locusts. Some storage. It's really important to make storage if you want to use all your metal. Which I honestly I should have done this way earlier. The reason why is because when you use fabrics, like I said, your economy fluctuates, and it's really important to allow for a lot of fluctuation with your economy. If not, then you'll run into efficiency issues, and, you know, they're efficiency issues. It's, it's a bad thing. You don't want efficiency issues, you want no efficiency issues. That was bad. We can probably kill the AI pretty soon. Factory for locusts, not not a terribly good trade, but it worked. See, I have less units than the AI, I think by a fair margin. Doesn't matter so much though. Now I'm just going to kill the AI with the T2 armies I'm making. 
That's really all I need to do. I could have switched just to units and kill them that way, but why? <laughs> I want to be thick. That's some hard micro. Ah, oh well. We'll kill the AI with this. Yeah, T2 is really insane right now. Push in. Don't really have an amazing mix of units, but it'll work. I don't really... I haven't really cared about what the AI has in terms of unit types, so I just... It's gonna roll in. And now the AI can't do anything against me because I have more fabric power than him. Than it. I've got more units, got more map control, got more eco. It's GG. And sure enough, Commander will die. So that's a rough way I time my fabrics. You can mix in some units to defend against boom bots if you see those coming and keep fabric spamming. But when you do fabric spam, you have to, again, time it when your opponent does not have units that will wreck you. Because otherwise, you're losing that game. So let's review. Bots first. This is a total miscue. Air second. Lots of power. I scouted it. So I saw units coming. Switch over to docks and sparks. And I have a... See, I switched to units, but I've still got more build power than the AI because of my fabbers, right? Because fabbers build things. Um, less units though, shouldn't be an issue. Idled my commander a bit. I can make more factories, so. One thing I will say is this is a bit weak to a rush. So for rushing, you need to boost your factories. Maybe boost your air for some Icarus for a bot rush, but um, if it's not a bot rush, then I think this will work out against most players. That was a rip. I noticed a unit. See? I noticed I got more units. I start fabric spamming again. See that? I got more eco. Two's up. I keep fabric spamming. And looks like Eddie's Locust really didn't do anything. Some more units and now since I know that I'm gonna win I'm just gonna focus on units and kill him what I could do is just switch all factories to fabrics and cement my thickness even more but I just wanted to go for the kill this time I do that a lot in team games I switch my factories to fabric spamming when I kill somebody and then when I scout enemy units, I switch back to units. 
but you gotta be really attentive to the map when you do this sort of thing. Okay, that is how I time my fabrics personally. And this concludes my mini series on fabric timings. Leave a comment below if you hate this strategy or like it. Um, if you're a meta snob, comment, subscribe. And I'll be making more videos on other topics in the near future. Just let me know. Let me know what you wanna wanna see and I'll I'll make it. Anyway, I'm your biggest noob and I'll catch you next time.